Yeah, she's much better, more positive anyway. She's talking about a future and everything. Well, that's great. I mean, you can make a mistake and still have a bright one. <laughs> well, that's what this bo has been telling her, the counsellor. Well, he's a wiser man. Yeah, apparently. Except he's in there, and he not out here, so when she does come out... <sighs> what does he do, this bloke? He just talks to her, you know, helps with the school stuff and keeps her positive. Well, I've been known to talk, and I know a bit about school stuff. Oh, no, Doug, I wasn't hinting for you. No, it'd be a pleasure. I mean, look at Jerry. I tried to steer him right. <laughs> yeah, well, if you see him today before I do, you just remind him that today is a work day. He seems to have forgotten again. I will, and I'll get some books and some bits and pieces together for when Liv gets back. That's amazing. Thanks, Doug. You're back. So what's the drama? Well, she got herself into a fight, so I get called in. Turns out she wants to see me after all. But we had a good chat, and she seems to have got her head sorted. So that's you sorting out Liv, and there's me changing Seb's nappy at lunch without him weeing all over my face <laughs> and pulling up the wall. I think that's cause for a celebration. Uh, Pat, you mean? No, I, night away, I mean. If you're up for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, good, because I booked it. Well, parents slash legal guardians of the year. Yeah, <laughs> we should run a foster home or something. <laughs> I think we've got enough kids in our lives, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, anyway, you should get in there fast, cos uh, Paddy's convinced himself the world will end if you don't. Is there anyone that can cope without me? Well, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you need to write this card.